Welcome back, Shaliners. Today, we are going to talk about Riverdale, the best show on television, in the history of television, in the future of television, all right? I love me some Riverdale, and if you... If you're cool, you do too, basically. I'm just gonna say it. If you're cool, you like Riverdale. Anyway, today specifically, we're going to talk about why Betty didn't end up with Archie. Because on paper, they have everything in common. They grew up together, she's a river vixen, he's the football captain, they have all the same friends, they even look great together. So why didn't Archie love her back? Why did he go for Veronica? Well, I'll tell you. For one, Betty is too familiar to him. <laughs> it's no matter what romantic comedies and whatever tell you, it is almost, it is extremely rare that a guy who has known you since childhood is like going to one day wake up and be attracted to you because that's the missing link. It's not that he doesn't like love Betty. It's not that he doesn't care about her, respect her, and acknowledge that she's all these wonderful things. It's that he doesn't want to sleep with her. There is a lack of lust. Lust is a very temperamental, fickle little thing. And one thing that kills lust is familiarity. If you are around someone all the time, especially especially guys, it 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 kills that like that that mystery that like who is she like oh I gotta find out where I have to possess her because if she's around all the time you kind of already do possess her she's very available to you so there's not much of a chase and we know boys like to chase why because they're hardwired to be hunters so if you take away that element of chasing then it's just kind of like they're at the zoo and they're being fed and they're like whatever it's feeding time who cares they want to get out there and they want to go after something veronica makes an excellent target because when archie first meets her he is she is all mystery and that mystery is bolstered because she's a very decisive person this is another thing that betty does wrong she's spineless Betty's a pleaser. She goes along with whatever, you know, she, she lives up to expectations. She does whatever anyone else wants her to do. That's not hot. That's not sexy. That's also just incredibly annoying. Like, you always see these memes about guys being like, you get caught in the endless loop of, what do you want to eat? I don't know. What do you want to eat? I don't know. And they joke about it, but it's actually something that drives boys crazy when girls can't make a decision, have an opinion, or speak up for themselves. It's because then it's it's not a very balanced relationship. You want a partner. You want someone who has something to say. And we as humans, even when we encounter someone with a lot of strong opinions, unless they're like wackadoodle insane, like our presidents, you can usually respect that they're like, I hate cilantro. What are you going to do about it? I think avocado toast is shitty. And you're like, hmm, I don't agree, but I appreciate their guts to say something like that. Same with Veronica. She says it. If you don't like what she has to say, get out of the way like it or lump it. And that is a very sexy thing because it hints at this sort of like, like smoldering sexuality. Very, very few spineless people are good in bed because guys see someone like Betty who can't make a decision, who can't think for herself, who can't take charge as they're probably going to be kind of a dead fish in bed. And that's also not what guys want. A girl who's submissive is not the same thing as a girl who's spineless. Submissive people, like I'm super submissive in bed. This is, we're getting super off topic, but like uh, no one's ever said Shallon doesn't have an opinion, <laughs> like, but it's a, it's a role I like to play on purpose. I'm not just like, well, I don't know, do whatever you want. Like, I choose that and I like play along. You know, I'm like an active participant. I'm not just a passenger in my relationships, sexual, platonic, anything. I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. Another thing Betty does is she chases Archie. She also gets wrapped up in what I have described to you guys as the myth of the man. Like we so often like someone without even knowing why, like maybe we don't even talk to them much or never, or we get wrapped up in this fantasy of like what aligning ourselves with them is going to do for us. And everyone wants to date the popular guy because everyone wants to be popular. And if we date him, we are there, we're popular by default, by osmosis, their popularity splashes on us and like suddenly we're anointed and we're okay and we're validated. But when you do that, it's very inauthentic. And ultimately it's good she doesn't end up with Archie because she wants him for kind of the wrong reasons. If they really were on the same page, they would be together. Veronica, however, is all mystery. She's bold. She doesn't chase and she knows who she is and what she deserves. That's the kind of girl you guys should be. And it's not that Veronica's a bitch. I mean, in fact, I really think her character could be bitchier. Like that whole, like, I just want to help Mabel or whatever that ugly girl's name was. Like, can we just dispatch with that plot line? It was so annoying. Anyway, the takeaway here is don't chase a guy. The longer you've known him, 
the harder it's going to be to get out of that friend zone because he has no lust for you. Because maybe you knew him before lust even existed to him. And then when he does become a lusty teen person, he's not going to go for the girl he's known the whole time. He's going to go for something so new, so fresh, so interesting. Veronica, mysterious, bold, doesn't chase, and knows herself. Okay? Take this, live it, live your own Riverdale. But please, God, someone explain to me what is up with Jason Blossom. He is the creepiest looking dude I've ever seen. Not even as a corpse, just as a person. Anyway, for more, please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at ChallenXO. Click subscribe for new videos every week. And if you have a video suggestion or a love question of your own, leave it right here in the comments or private message me only on YouTube and I will respond. Bye, Shallonkins. Shallonkins. Shallonerkins. Still working out the kinks on that one.